doctor some say humans now i want you to tell me what are the qualities of animals that you like come on write them down in the in the chat come on what qualities of animals do you like they are loving some say little of the honesty the loyalty the faithfulness innocence they're cute they're selfless they're faithful they're loyal all right majority of the people say the lickers okay you like the licking also nice nice they're cute they don't talk okay humans talk so they're boring all right so many answers they never hurt anyone right right i like this you love their eyes you love their wafadari they are self reliant they understand feelings all right thank you so much for your answers guys now i am doing something really interesting i am going to post a link in the chat okay i am going to post a link in the chat i want you all to stop typing right now please stop typing i am planning to post a link in the chat and what i want you to do is i want to do watch the video that i'm sending i request people to please stop posting messages so that i can go forward and do what i'm supposed to do all right so guys i'm posting a youtube link you'll have to mute yourself you are already mute anyway but uh, you can go and watch the video and remember you will watch it for just 5 minutes wo video 10 minute ka hai baki ka 5 minute ka aap lecture ke baad dekhenge initially you will watch it for just 5 minutes and not more than that all right just 5 minutes and within the next 5 minutes i will start with the lecture so it's 610 right 611 right now sharp 616 i start sharp 616 i start here is the link guys here is the link i have sent the link you'll all receive it now send the link just click on it and go to google are aisa kaisa link nahi mila okay wait 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 i'll i'll try and send it again check now guys check again check again okay i'm sending it again अभी देखो मिला गया अभी आया रहेगा मिला मिला आई कैन सी सम पीपल राइटिंग मिला Okay, guys, 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 guys. You have to stop typing. You have to stop typing. If you stop typing, I'll send it again. आप लोग type करते जा रहे हो इसके लिए वो send नहीं हो रहा है. रुक जाइए please. रुक जाइए. रुक जाइए. रुक जाइए. रुक जाइए. Please don't type. Please don't type. रुक जाइए. Because you're keeping you're typing continuously. Guys, please stop typing. I request you all to stop typing, or else I won't be able to go go forward with this. Please wait, guys. Guys, until and unless you don't stop, I can't move ahead. So, guys, as we were discussing about animals, and uh, and and how loyal and how good they are, um, it's time that we do a lesson of a poem about them. We will do a poem. Karenge ham, and I request everyone to watch the video later when I send it on WhatsApp. Once I send it on WhatsApp to you people, you can watch it later. You will not watch it right now. all right so i am putting the text on right now on my screen and we will start with 
the perm animals. All right. Okay, guys. Right. So, guys, uh, we first have to know about the poet. All right. This poem, Animals, is actually written by uh, Walt Whitman, who was born in the year 1819 and he passed away in 1892. He is one of the major figures in early American poetry. He broke the tradition of rhymed and uh, metrical poetry. Peleki poems, they were all rhymed, continuously rhymed. But this man, he broke that trend. And he was the one who actually started with the trend of writing some revolutionary kind of a poetry, which was in a free verse. Guys, free verse is a, a kind of a poetry which doesn't have a rhyme scheme as such. Okay. And the poem Animals is from his work, The Song of Myself in Leaves of Grass. And on a poet, but he a book likhiti poems ki. Just may say poem in animals. Okay, so now what we have to see here is a central idea about the poem because it's going to be very important as far as your, um, what do you say, the poem appreciation is concerned. So as for the poem, Animal is written by Walt Whitman, who is known for his poems written in the free verse style. The poet has depicted, he has shown the simplicity of the animals and the greediness and complex nature of human beings. He brings out the difference between the two by expressing his contentment on the placid nature of the animals. Their carefree nature impresses the poet and he wants to emulate them. He wants to copy them. He wants to be like them. Uh, we will not read the summary as of now. We will straight away go to the poem now because the summary will simply, you know, uh, spoil all the interest that we have about this all right guys still if you want me to just summarize a little so i would say in the poem animals the poet has described his will to become an animal because he thinks that animals are far better than we human beings are uh, and he also says that we human beings are greedy and full of jealousy against each other but animals are really calm and they are self-reliant the animals are happy with whatever they have. They will never complain about the problems and the miseries and the sorrows that they suffer from. On the other hand, we human beings complain about every single thing, every little thing happens with us and we complain. The animals give, uh, we, we humans, we give importance to rich and strong people. We stay restless because we do a lot of sins and wrong and bad deeds and we run behind the luxurious things of the world. But as animals are honest about their actions and the religion and the relations, they do not give importance to the to a particular class or a color or a or a religion or something like that. They will live a life which is full of honesty and less of greed and jealousy. Okay, guys, let us begin. Uh, there must there is a little bit of uh, alignment problem here. So, हो सकता है जो meaning हो वो थोड़ा आगे पीछे जाए जैसे कि आप यहाँ पे भी देख सकते हैं. Turn का meaning थोड़ा आगे चला गया है. So I just hope you people understand that and so bear with me on this. All right, so we start guys. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. I stand and look at them long and long. So he says, I wish I could turn and live with animals. The meaning of the word turn here means to transform. He says, I wish I could turn into an animal. I could be like an animal and I could live with them. And he's giving us some reasons why he wishes this. He says they are so placid and self-contained. The meaning of the word placid is not easily upset or excited. They are very calm. Okay. In one of the religious uh, books uh, called Srimad Bhagavad Gita, they say, they talk about an ideal person. Okay. An ideal person is the one who doesn't get too excited in, uh, in happiness or doesn't get too depressed during miseries. Who in San? Sthir rehta hai, wo insan stable rehta hai, uske emotions usse control no hote hai. That's what animals are, they are so placid and they are so self-contained. The meaning of the word self-contained is independent or self-sufficient or self-reliant or self-dependent. Aaj kal 
इसका हिंदी वर्ड बहुत ज्यादा फेमस हो रहा है हिंदी वर्ड ऑफ सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट कैन यू पीपल राइट इट इन द चैट कम ऑन शो मी इन द चैट कम ऑन यस दैट्स द राइट वर्ड आत्मनिर्भरता इज व्हाट वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट राइट नाउ हाउ टू बी सेल्फ कंटेन्ड इज व्हाट द एनिमल्स टीच अस ही सेज आई स्टैंड एंड लुक एट देम लॉन्ग एंड लॉन्ग सो हियर लॉन्ग एंड लॉन्ग इज for for a long amount of time i stand there and i just keep looking at them and i don't get enough of looking at them so guys if i have to summarize these three lines to you um uh, i would like to say that the poet here is trying to say that he wants to live in the world of the animals he wants to be an animal himself okay here we we can say that the poet finds the world of the animals better than that of human beings the poet is also saying that he finds animals more peaceful and uh, you know than humans he says this because animals do not run after worldly things like we human beings do they are calm and they have no greed of worldly things or any any kind of achievements hum sab ambitious hain hum sabko kuch na kuch paana hai life mein hum sab race mein daude ja rahe hain but animals ke sab kuch nahi hota they are self contained which means that they are happy with their life with with you know whatever they have they will never interfere in the lives of others Like human beings do, आप सबको तो पता ही होगा कभी भी you know whenever you're walking on the road or you're talking on the phone, there would be some auntie or uncle who would go who would see you doing that and just go and tell your parents. आजकल आपका बच्चा बहुत ज़्यादा फ़ोन पे रहता है. चलो चेक कर जी करिएगा कुछ प्रॉब्लम तो नहीं है. So you know we humans have no, if we if, yes we have no other job but to just interfere in other people's life and mess and make a mess of their lives. Okay. He says that humans have a habit of interfering in people's lives. and uh, you know the poet thinks that animals are better than humans for being calm and not interfering in people's lives and he further tells us that these are the reasons why he feels that you know it's better to be an animal and that's why he stands still he stands unmoved and looks at these animals for a very long time that's what these lines mean all right guys we'll move on to the next part they do not sweat and whine about their condition come on guys let's write the meaning of the of the words sweat and wine sweat and wine means cry sweat and wine means to cry and complain sweat and wine means to cry and complain okay sometimes i actually you know laugh at 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 myself or you know uh, at all the human beings that we are the entire community of human beings hum log koi cheez se khush nahi rehte yaar A simple example. Simple example. We are not even happy with the seasons that we have in the in the world, okay, on Earth. During summers, we crib and complain that our body is getting cold. The rain is coming fast. Once it starts raining, then we have complaints that our body is getting cold. The rain is coming fast. Once it starts raining, then we have complaints that our body is getting cold. The rain is coming fast. Once it starts raining, then we have complaints that our body is getting cold. The rain is coming fast. Once it starts raining, then we have complaints फिर से गर्मी आएगी तो फिर से बोलेंगे नहीं नहीं यार गर्मी वी डोंट लाइक इट वी वांट विंटर्स इन विंटर्स वी कंप्लेन अरे बड़ी ठंडी है यार बहुत सारे कपड़े पहनने पड़ते हैं यू नो नहा नहीं पाते आफ्टर यू आफ्टर यू शिट यू यू नो फाइंड डिफिकल्ट टू क्लीन योर सेल्फ इन इन दैट कोल्ड वाटर बिकॉज एवरी थिंग टर्न इन टू आई एम श्योर यू एक्सपीरियंस दिस इफ यू एक्सपीरियंस दिस राइट इन द चैट दैट आई डू ओके डू नॉट फील शाई इवन आई फील इवन आई फील स्केड और इन द विंटर्स टू डू द नीडफुल so thandi hai to bolenge ab garmi chahiye so guys we are not happy with anything and that's what is terrible about us the animals they don't whine about the conditions okay many of us in this in this you know uh, lockdown when you are safe at home you tumko ghar baithe baithe khana mil raha hai you know you are in such a safe environment we still complain are lockdown kyu hai i want to go out this is so bad on the government's part come on guys understand there are so many laborers who are walking back home for more than 800 kilometers forget the laborers guys these animals they don't have a home wo log aaj bhi raste par hain unko nahi malum ki wo kisko chhu rahe hain kisko kha rahe hain there are many monkeys who died recently in some part of the country because of corona virus come on we are so lucky but these animals they will never complain about the conditions they do not lie awake in the dark and uh, weep for their sins they do not lie awake in the dark and weep weep means cry for their sins sins means bad deeds or wrong doings hum insaan kya karte hain 
हम लोग गलत गलत काम करते हैं वी डू अलॉट ऑफ बैड डीज वी हर्ट पीपल वी हर्ट आर लव एंड देन एट नाइट वी सिट डिप्रेस्ड वी कीप थिंकिंग अबाउट अरे यार आई शुडेंट हैव डन दैट हाउ बैड एम आई यू नो आई डेंट लुक आफ्टर माई पेरेंट्स आई डि नॉट लुक आफ्टर माई सिबलिंग्स आई एम अ बैड ब्रदर और मे बी आई एम अ बैड वाइफ और आई एम अ बैड हजबेंड और अ बैड चाइल्ड सो वी कीप staying awake in the dark and what do the animals do they sleep whenever they want to sleep because unhone paap to kuch kiya hi nahi hai now here some of you might have this question sir but what about wild animals they kill the other animals right but guys they don't kill it out of they don't kill the others out of jealousy humko samajhna bahut zaruri hai that the nature is nature functions in a particular way and this is a part of the ecosystem that we live in इकोसिस्टम का बैलेंस बनाने के लिए एक फूड साइकिल बनता है वे यू सी दैट द एपिक्स प्रेडेटर्स दे फीड ऑन द लोअर लोअर एनिमल्स द वीकर एनिमल्स ओके और अगर ये एक दूसरे को नहीं खाएंगे तो इनका जो पॉपुलेशन है बढ़ता जाएगा ओके सो वो उनका नेचुरल इंस्टिंक है ऑल राइट एंड दैट्स वाई यू कैन नॉट पॉइंट इट आउट टू बी अन दे डो नॉट मेक मी सिक डिस्कसिंग दे आर ड्यूटी टू गॉड they do not make me feel bad they do not make me feel disgusted sick means disgusted they do not disgust me by discussing their duty to god guys you know last year in the ninth standard we had a poem called the plate of gold in that poem if you remember the story a plate of gold had suddenly fallen upon the floor of the temple and it was written that this plate of gold will go to a person who has done all the good deeds in life and then there was a huge queue har insaan aa raha hai aur udhar baith kar apne good deeds ka show off kar raha hai wo baith kar bata raha hai ki yaar maine kitna acha kiya and trying to you know impress the people around there and trying to get that particular plate of gold and so many people you know people who actually sold off their entire property as charity they also came they also did not get it some people came outside the temple gate gave money to the beggars thinking ki acha kaam karunga to plate of gold mujhe milega unko bhi nahi milta in the end there comes one person who did not come to show off what he had done he just came there he empathized with the beggar sitting out usko paisa bhi nahi diya shayad just empathized with him usse thoda baat kiya went inside the temple was just praying to god and thanking him for whatever he's done and that plate of gold went to him एनिमल्स ये सब नहीं करते यार दे आर जस्ट हैप्पी विद ओन सेल्फ हिंदी में कहावत है नेकी कर दरिया में डाल आफ्टर यू डन योर गुड डीड डू नॉट गो एंड डिस्क्लोज इट टू पीपल एंड डू नॉट गो एंड पी टू फाइव समिंडोरा अबाउट इट कीप इट टू योर सेल्फ एंड जस्ट डू वॉट यूर सपोज टू डू सिंपल एज दैट राइट नो वन इज डिसफाइड नॉट वन इज डिमेंटेड विद द मेनिया ऑफ ओनिंग थिंग्स ओके सो नॉट वन इज नॉट वन इज डिसफाइड योर डिसटिस्फाइड मीन्स नॉट वन इज डिसकंटेंट किसी को भी ऐसा नहीं है कि यार मुझे बहुत सारी लग्जरी चाहिए मुझे कार चाहिए मुझे बड़ा घर चाहिए आई वॉन्ट एन ए सी इन दी हाउस आई वॉन्ट बेस्ट क्लोथ आई विल ओनली वेर ब्रांडेड क्लोथ नथिंग यार दे आर सो सेटिस्फाइड आज उनको एक जगह सोने मिल जाए कल कहीं और चले जाएंगे एंड गाइज यू नो वॉट दिस इंसिडेंट हैपेंड इन इन मुंबई इन इन द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ मुंबई आई आई रेड अबाउट दिस इन द न्यूज एंड इट वॉज अज न्यूज ओके बहुत बड़ा न्यूज था it so happened that during the the monsoon season one dog in a particular locality happened to enter the, a particular building to to gain some shelter barish ho rahi thi wo bechara shelter mein ja raha tha so some people came out there of the building and started hitting the dog with some stick and bamboo sticks they hit the dog to such an extent that the dog find the, the, the dog suffered from a brain hemorrhage and went into a coma then there were a lot of movements of the people bahut sare animal लवर्स और बहुत सारे एनिमल के जो एनजीओ होते हैं उन्होंने बहुत ज्यादा प्रोटेस्ट किए एंड पीपल अरेस्टेड हु डिड दिस ओके व्हाई एनिमल वाज वाज जस्ट जस्ट ट्राइंग टू गेट सम शेल्टर देयर आई थिंक इवन वी ह्यूमंस डू इट राइट जब आपके पास छाता नहीं होता है रेनकोच नहीं होता इट रेन्स वॉट यू डू यू गो एंड स्टैंड बीनीथ अ ट्री और मे बी यू गो एंड स्टैंड नियर अ शॉप वे देर इज सम शेल्टर फॉर यू Come on, why can't we do it for the animals as well? They are not dissatisfied, nor are they demented. The meaning of the word demented means behaving illogically due to anger or madness. Behaving illogically due to anger of or or madness. Nor do they have the mania of owning things. Guys, mania means extreme madness or desire. Pagal pan. Unke andro pagal pan nahi hai ki yar sab property meri ho. Today in this world. a brother goes and betrays another brother just because he wants the property 
how shameful is it of us human beings for doing so jahan par ek animal dusre animal ko apna khana de deta hai yahan par hum apne aur apne bhai ke sath ya behno ke sath hum property ke liye ladte hain aur case chalate hain court mein how great of us and we are the most sensible social animals in the world all right so if i have to just summarize it for you in short it says that the you know the, the poet is saying that unlike human beings they don't complete about anything they are just happy with the situation that they live in un logo koi bhi repentance ya regret nahi hota unke koi bhi paap hoga kyunki wo paap karte hi nahi hai wo raat ko jaagte nahi hai hamare jaise nor do they get angry because they want to own something nor do they have that craziness to go out and you know run after luxuries and so on all right guys let's move on to the next part not one kneels to another not to the kind that lived thousands year thousands of years ago not one kneels to the another you will never see ek dog dusre dog ke samne apna sir jhuka raha hai you will never see ek uh, lion dusre lion ke samne apna sir jhuka raha hai ya uske haath pair jod raha hai but you know what we humans do we treat another human as god सही बात है कि नहीं देखा रहेगा आप लोगों ने पीके ओ माय गॉड ऐसी मूवीज वी ट्रीट अनदर पर्सन जस्ट लाइक अस अ गॉड नॉट नॉट जस्ट दैट वी आल्सो ट्रीट आर एंसेस्टर्स लाइक गॉड्स ओके नॉट द काइंड दैट लिव थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इयर्स अगो इज टॉकिंग अबाउट एंसेस्टर्स हमारे फोर फादर्स हम आज भी हमारे एंसेस्टर्स को लेकर बात करते रहते हैं और हमने हमारे एंसेस्टर्स को भी भगवान की जगह दे दी है बट दीज एनिमल्स दे डोंट डू ऑल ऑफ दैट okay they do not kneel down to anybody like that they are happy with their own self and they are happy with the nature that they live in not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth abhi hum log kya karte hain okay we have our religions our communities our financial statuses aur hamara aisa hota hai ki yaar kahin kahin par aisa hai jo kala hai wo galat hai jo gora hai wo sahi hai usko alag treatment milegi kahin kahin par aisa hai if a person is rich he will be respected in the society if you are poor nobody respects you you are treated like you know you are nobody okay these animals they don't do all of that unke liye everybody is the same okay they don't complain about the whole earth they don't respect someone because of their community or their caste or their status financial status so they show their relations to me and i accept them they treat all the relations just as they are equally wo log sab relations ko equally treat karte hain okay and that's what he loves about them all right so he says they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plenty in their possession there is some meanings over here you already know what is kneel down to kneel down is to bow down jhukna evins evins ka meaning please likh lijiye it means to show to reveal evins means to reveal possession thing possession is ownership of something tokens here either is this chapter made means qualities or virtues like innocence and simplicity virtues or qualities all right to ye bolta hai they show their honesty towards their religious relations no matter what situations and on not on the basis of some certain things that we humans look for they brings me tokens of myself they make me realize that there are some qualities that we humans were supposed to have but we don't have them anymore and they these animals have these values plenty that is in abundance in their possession ye jo tokens the jo values the of innocence of selflessness of kindness of love of you know no jealousy ye sab qualities actually hum humans ki thi they were actually tokens for ourselves or humans but these tokens are now in plenty with the animals so if i have to summarize this for you it simply means that the animals they don't bow down to anybody who are just like themselves like we people do we humans do they do not show their devotion towards god like humans do nor do they go and you know boast about the good deeds to to the world and they do not uh, give more importance to to the rich and less importance to the poor like we humans do they treat everyone equally and there are some qualities that were actually meant for humans to possess 
but we somehow lost those qualities and these animals have those qualities in abundance that's what we learn in the in the in the, in the part that we just read and the last two lines guys he says i wonder i think wonder means i think where they get those tokens where did they get these values from they were actually ours they were supposed to be humans but inke pas kahan se aaya and then he answers the whole, the question himself maybe he says did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them kya maine negligently us raste ko chhod diya aur jab main us raste pe chal raha tha to shayad mere pocket se ये टोकन्स या ये वैल्यूज गिर गई और ये एनिमल्स ने उनको उठा लिया ओके सो एट द लास्ट इन इन द लास्ट एंड द पोएम द पोएट इंट्रोस्पेक्ट्स हिमसेल्फ अपने अंदर झांक कर देख रहा है एंड सेज दैट फ्रॉम वेयर डिड द एनिमल्स गेट दीस क्वालिटीज ही फर्दर क्वेश्चंस हिमसेल्फ दैट वेयर आर हिज ओन क्वालिटीज ओके वेयर आर दे गॉन डिड ही लीव देम और डिड ही Or did he lose them carelessly somewhere? These qualities that were found in human beings in the past, like innocence, kindness, and truthfulness, are now seen in animals. He wonders that humans gave up these qualities, and they have been passed on to the animals. That's what he says. All right, guys. So we are done with the poem, and I will just discuss certain important things with you. all right so guys uh wait wait tum log kya hai na gaye homework abhi ruko uh so guys you i'll just tell you certain figures of speech i will not tell you all the figures of speech main thode hi bataunga baki ke jo thode hain wo aap khud ghar pe likhenge ek activity mein okay so i'll tell you uh, the line that you see not one is demented with the mania of owning things this line is a metaphor this line is metaphor okay ye metaphor hai iske baad mein i'll give you some more examples uh after that the line they do not sweat and whine about their condition this is personification because the human quality of complaining and whining is given to the animals personification not one kneels to another nor to his kind this is alliteration because you see the sound of n being repeated not or kneels me okay so guys your homework is going to be textbook ka activity number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 okay it's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 Six and seven, all right. And now, if you have some doubts, you can post your doubts here, and I will answer your doubts. The PPT is off because we don't need it. Also, guys, you will uh, do the poem appreciation of this. But one to seven, करना है. Today, the parent meeting is not today, guys. You will get the message. पढ़िए जरा मैसेज को अच्छे से. आपको मालूम पड़ जाएगा. what it is exactly